Eternals is the latest film from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starring an ensemble cast including Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani, Brian Tyree Henry, Angelina Jolie and Selma Hayek. It's directed by Academy Award winner Chloe Zhao. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below, it does wonders in getting my content out there, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all my content. Marvel Studios Eternals features an exciting new team of superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ancient aliens who have been living on Earth in secret for thousands of years. Following the events of Avengers Endgame, an unexpected tragedy forces them out of the shadows to reunite against mankind's most ancient enemy, the Deviants. This is a movie that I've, I've never really been particularly that excited about. It's not a movie that's really um, got my hype level soaring. I mean, this film has an incredible cast. It's got an incredible director behind it, Chloe Zhao. Uh, so there are things in there that I was, you know, excited about, but this isn't a movie that I've been particularly, like, really hyped to see. So going into this, I really just kind of, I set the bar fairly low. It's interesting to take a look at kind of the state of the MCU right now. We're really in this era where everything's being stripped right back to basics, like 2008 phase one level basics. We're getting all these fresh faces coming into the picture, new characters, new actors, as a lot of the older crew are starting to trickle out of the picture. Of course, the Disney Plus shows are playing around with uh, some of the older characters that we know and love, but the movies, particularly when we're talking about the uh, Eternals and uh, Shun Shi and Legend of the Ten Rings, these are movies that really feel like phase one pictures. And in its own way, Eternals does kind of feel small and intimate, but it is obviously on this quite enormous scale. This movie is just under two and a half hours long. I believe it's the second longest movie in the MCU and uh, let me tell you, it does feel long. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, we've got so many characters thrown into the mix here. What, seven or eight new characters? And the great thing about Marvel so far over the last, what, 12, 13 years by this point, is that they take their time in their storytelling. Eternals kind of takes the route that Guardians of the Galaxy did, and that's throwing a lot of characters at us at once and teaming them all up in the one movie. I guess you can't really go and do solo movies straight up because you need to, to know them as a team before you do split them up onto their own solo adventures. I think it's the right route to take with this particular movie, just as it was the right route to take with the Guardians of the Galaxy movie in the first place. So the length is warranted, and in that respect, it does stick, I guess, to that to that formula that Marvel has, which is take your time to, uh, to develop your characters, to get your audience invested in these characters. And let me tell you, it does take its time. It doesn't take like eight movies worth of time, but it takes close to two and a half hours worth of time to really get you up to speed with these characters, the team, who they all are, what they're doing. And look, it is a bit of a complex story, but it's easy to follow. I've heard a lot of people calling this movie dense. That's the word that's being floated around. I wouldn't say it's a dense movie. This is a movie that's very easy to follow. That said, I do understand why this movie might not be for everyone, because not everyone loves these big, long, epic films. And to me, as someone who loves an epic, some of my favorite movies include Ben-Hur, Lawrence of Arabia, Gone with the Wind, these big, sprawling, epic, two and a half, three, four hour movies. I'm used to sitting there and watching these epic films that are slowly, slowly burning and take a long time to kind of get to the point. But I love that. And this movie, I feel like, is the first MCU that movie that has kind of taken that route. There's quite a bit of action sequences in here, but they are few and far between. And I understand for a lot of people that are going into a superhero movie, this might not be what they want. Because there are long stretches of talking expository scenes and monologues and stuff like this. This is a movie that does take its time to introduce you to these characters by way mostly of dialogue and going back and forwards in time and showing you things that have happened in the past that really... This movie really... I mean, it's quite obvious that they're going to do another one of these or these characters are going to continue on in the MCU somehow. This movie really works as, like, if you think back to Iron Man 1, you do, there's not a lot that happens in that movie. It's a big, 
uh, just introductory piece to the character of Iron Man and not a lot really happens. I feel like the Eternals is the same sort of thing. Not a lot really does happen in this movie. There's not a huge story. It really exists to set up these characters and to set up their story so that in the next one, uh, they have a trajectory point where they can really go and explode into the MCU. The great thing about this is, though, through these characters who look like they're gonna be pretty pivotal going forward in the MCU, the great thing is it opens up these new pockets of the universe. And these are pockets of the universe that we've been really, really excited to be diving into for maybe the last five or six years. We are introduced to the Celestials kind of on a more intimate level. We get to know who they really are, what their purpose really is. And while this movie doesn't explore it too deeply, we do know this is something that's going to be very much a focus of the MCU going forward. And now, if we thought Thanos and the Infinity War was one massive scale, you know, kind of story arc, this next thing is going to be humongous. And I come out of Infinity War and Endgame going, you know, there's no way you can top this. There's no way you can get bigger and better than this. But knowing the scale and the scope that uh, we're looking at here with the Eternals, uh, Marvel is about to go into a whole new territory. I don't quite know if most people are ready for it. It's very different. And this is something that everyone is saying, is this is much different to any Marvel movie we've ever seen. And that is true. But I think it's almost unlike any other superhero movie we've seen on the big screen. A lot of people are also saying this doesn't feel like it fits in with Marvel. I tend to disagree with that though, because this does feel like a Marvel movie. There's links, there's connections, and it is very much rooted within this same world. And it does feel like it fits. You can kind of see how they're gonna start connecting this up with other characters and other story plot points and stuff. Now, of course, Marvel has chosen an auteur filmmaker for this one in Chloe Zhao. Of course, directed last year's terrific Nomadland. And she brings her kind of auteur style to this movie. It is very much, you watch this movie and it's very much a Chloe Zhao film, visually at least. Gorgeous. I unfortunately did not get to see this at the IMAX. Would have loved to have seen this on the IMAX screen because it was shot for the IMAX. And you can tell in a lot of um, the, the shot compositions and stuff like that, this is definitely intended to be viewed on the grander scale possible. Chloe Zhao does a pretty good job with this movie. Um, it doesn't really feel like her normal fare. And to go from Nomadland, which is just such a small, simplistic, bare bones film, to essentially what is the most grandiose Marvel Cinematic Universe movie ever, is a huge leap. That does very much lend itself very well to the narrative style uh, of this film. But then when it comes to some of the the, the bigger, more bombastic scenes, like the action scenes and stuff like that. I do feel like Zhao does kind of struggle a little bit under the weight of this whole thing. I feel like most filmmakers would struggle with the weight of a movie like this, unless they are a seasoned blockbuster filmmaker who's done these kind of movies over and over and over again. You do sense that there is a little bit of a struggle of a filmmaker who does feel like they're you know, a little bit outside of their comfort zone trying to handle some of these bigger scenes and they never quite hit the reach that big zenith that they that they really should. They don't pack the huge punch that you would expect from these kind of big action sequences. That's really my only major gripe with this movie is that it at times it feels like where it should be going all out, it feels just maybe a little bit restrained. I would say that this is probably like an above mid-tier Marvel movie. It's a movie that I liked, I thought it was good, and there's definitely potential here, and particularly when we get to, there's a couple of, of course, there are a couple of post-credit scenes, and as they usually do, they push forward a narrative, they give you a little glimpse of what we might see in the future. These are some things that have made me really excited to see where these uh, Eternals characters are going to go. And at that, I'll be giving Eternals a three and a half out of five. Eternals is easily the single most unique and visually stunning Marvel movie ever. It's a return to the grand Hollywood epic on the biggest scale possible, and while it understandably might not work for some, this behemoth of a picture is, for better or worse, a hugely welcome and refreshing entry in the MCU. Eternals opens in Australian cinemas on Thursday the 4th of November 2021 and rolls out globally from Friday the 5th of November 2021. Thanks to the incredible team over at the Walt Disney Company Australia for inviting me to a very early preview of the Eternals for the purposes of this review. And thanks everybody out there for watching. Hope you enjoyed the movie. See you on the next one.
Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.